Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. right, you cranky bastard. Ha! You were right, V. You were. <laughs> and who just ate their words? Oh, fuck off. Is this it? The infamous prison of souls? Not how I remember it. But Alt wasn't running the show back then. So... We're all of Soul Killer's victims. Fuck if I know. We only see what Alt wants us to see. We should probably hurry before our Saka sends reinforcements. Where's Alt? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the Gonk's brain. You two still plan to obliterate Mikoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Are you absolutely sure? Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body! The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't... I can't believe it. Everything. All we did... It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. 
Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the Black Wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just... So we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. Our pass. Jesus. It'd be a shapeless shadow in a digital my afterlife. I really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations. From the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. We're left with fading memories. We're sharing a bed. Head splitting hangovers. Sea breeze on my face. Sun's heat on my shoulders. So take no. back your life. The six months you've got left. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. Could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. Might also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still prowls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah. That instinct's part of being human. But so is denying. There's really no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant, I don't know, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here, for folks like us, wrong city, wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Oh. If you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What's that mean for me exactly? Am I gonna become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the Black Wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. Yeah, we... We stick to the plan. Johnny, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. We knew all along this is how it would play out. Don't. Don't fuck with me right now. Only if you cut your pathetic I'm sorry bullshit. About to shred a comrade and a chunk of my own soul in one fucking go. Got no idea what that shit feels like. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. We know that attitude. CV, staying with you whether you like it or not. For fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. What? A little 
guilt creeps in and that's that? You give up? Stop. Just stop. Gonna just roll over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommiss yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? It's my decision. Let me make it. Sir Boy, I can grant you that. But damn it, are you dense? Haven't changed a bit since we met. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start anew. Even if I don't know what that means. It better be good for you, too. I'm just... I'm just scared for you. I'll see you around, Johnny. Fuck. Don't think I'll ever get used to this. We lost everything. Shit, got a pack too. And I gotta stop talking to you, V. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you.
Not much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. It's me, Steve. Hey! Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Cause I got that new album from Kirsty's Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen, genius. Been practicing those chord progressions. Yeah, but I keep botching them. I doubt I'll ever play it smooth. Practice, Chumba. You'll get it in the end. Eventually, you won't even have to think about it. You'll just feel the flow. Been working on another song. Want to hear it? Later, maybe. Kind of in a hurry now. Been prac. Yeah. Doubt I'll. You know, you don't have to be the next Linda Oz. I don't? Nope. Gotta hit the right notes, mostly. But also gotta play from the heart. Folks want feeling in their music, wanted to say something. Couldn't care less about technique. Been working on another song. Wanna hear it? Later, maybe. Kinda in a hurry now. Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um... Old man. Yeah, forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean, I guess I kind of deserved it. You forgot it happens. No reason to hit you. Hmm. What about you? What's up? Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple of things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wakes out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting those. What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside now. I'm not gonna let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Oh, fuck's sake. You swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. The fuck you want? Get your own. Maybe Steve wouldn't be so eager to ghost out of his home if it wasn't a drunk tank. <laughs> you think your place is any better? I don't got a kid. Keep this shit up. You <sighs> won't have one either. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yapper. Our place isn't a drunk tank. I actually clean. Didn't shorts. mean how it looks. Just My who's Steve in started it? Talking to him. Hop in. Now he bangs on that damn guitar all night and day. Better whip that boy in line. If he doesn't stop, I'll... I'll run away. Couple of years and you can move out. Forget about him. Forgive him even if you find it in you. Maybe when I grow up, and I'm tough, like you. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's all right. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains, especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. 
that's all that counts. The real deal always has been in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Don't forget, it's not the easiest gig. Yeah, yeah, I know. Gotta work hard, practice. To start, sure, but it only gets harder after that. The critics, the haters, non-stop pressure, batshit crazy lifestyle. It can chew you up. Better have something to fall back on. What? Something. Anything that pays the bills. You'll never grow desperate. Desperate's not a good place to be. The music's in you anyway. It's like blood. It'll always be there. Ha! <laughs> Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. The sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Prime. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kinda don't really know what to write about. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how... I could lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. Don't write sad sex shit just because you think there's beauty in sadness. Uh, okay. When something really hits you in the gut, that's when you sit down and write. Truth's elusive. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. We have arrived. Prem, hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. Night City strippers shouldn't be on the same shelf as Neon Haze. I'd rearrange all this. Point Break, Candy's new single? Who even listens to this scoff? That's what I want to know. Then we have the guy who transcends labor. Oh, 
on your own. Done pretty well for themselves. One of them's even moderately talented. Heard Carrie Uridine pops by once in a while. Best music story in Night City. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers, don't keep no record, and I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Looking for a six string, electric. Feast your eyes. I want something solid and true. What, and they're not? Cheap clunker is made out of shit plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. It's inflatable. You gotta know how. Rattle on the low E, cause the next boat. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Most important thing is the pickups. Guitarist gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, oh, said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, you might learn something. this whoa to the fucking right awesome. and left the latest chromatics and hendersons vintage axes in the back deluse orphean not a fake Take a good look. Relax, just making sure. Looks authentic, well maintained. Must be around, shit, 70? 90 and still going strong. Fretboard's pure organic ebony. Tenzor Paradise. This a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double humbucker, neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. May I? Of course. Strum away. Best day ever! I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Never ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Good ear, kid. No one can imitate Silverhand's style. But you did. I just heard you. Obviously got a bit of him in me. Or a lot. Maybe I am Johnny. But how? Johnny'd be like 80 million years old. And you're like, way too young. You know, this is just a body. How the dice landed for me. Ultimately, I am who I am. <laughs> yeah, right! 
Chum, you're a bigger psycho fan than I am. Still haven't explained how you do it. Don't worry about that. Just come up with your own style, and all you need for that is practice. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? What? Don't, Don't think you're any good? A little self-criticism is useful. But believing in what you got, that's much more important. A real rocker boy. Doubt that'll be me, ever. Come on, have faith. I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. Look, real rebellion needs time to grow. I don't understand. Not really sure how to put it. Gotta experience it yourself. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Huh. You're all right, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. And? I'll take it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No thanks. Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. All right. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. Dad says there's gonna be another cope war. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less, to be honest. Know why? Why? Cause I realized I don't have to. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. 
City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean. You know what, you're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers, just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Not actually mine. So whose is it? Belonged to a guy I knew. Crazy as fuck. And now I'm here, in his place. He dead? Mm, this piece of lead killed him. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. around anymore you know can't keep wallowing can't keep obsessing over what happened couldn't forget you anyway I'm wearing your goddamn face thanks for huh. well for everything I'm wiser now and I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye. Where to now? Hey, hey, what's this? Want one? Gave all that up. So should you. Bad for your body. Bad for your soul. Where to now? Hmm. I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm.
the bus! Hey! Get off! Wait! The guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will. I know you're a free bird and all, and you're gonna do what you want, when you want. But you could at least let me know you're alive, you know? I, I don't want to say anything, but you missed your last checkup. And like I told you a million times, uh, just call when you can, okay? See ya. Dejate de pendejadas. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? Wait one second. Ah, sí, claro. I know I wanted to tell you I'm... I'm cooking a supper on Sunday. For Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles. Tamales. If I could get some real corn. Oh, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, love. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Really? You're just gonna avoid me? Of course you would, you fucking coward. Here's a bit of advice for you, Johnny. Enjoy your new lease on life, because it's not gonna last long. I'm serious. Believe me when I say I'm going to find you, you fucking psychopath. Wherever you're hiding. And when I do, I'm gonna rip V out of your head. Don't ask me how, but so far I'm counting on sheer will. You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite. A fucking tapeworm! You hear me? Enjoy the little time you have left. Hello, B. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain B in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now. But just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um... You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well... 
All of us have been wondering when you're finally going to drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting him on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid he was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Hey, Pete, so funny thing just said- Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously, I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. <sighs> what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fine. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip. If you can care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. For a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. And I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before Samurai committed to Seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. somewhere no one's listening okay so my wife Elizabeth she's in on the whole thing she she keeps saying I should look after myself tells me to take these pills says they're vitamins got them analyzed at a lab and they look okay but, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results well, well, well when you got a sec call me okay Oh, yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Hey, V. Sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy man and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh, dear. The Hanged Man. The Magician. The Star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon. Life was 
was missing Your little flame that consumed my hate I'm now one for reminiscing But I trade it all for your sweet embrace Cause we lost everything We had to pay the price There's a canvas with two faces A fallen angel who loved and lost It was a passion for the ages But in the end, guess we pay the cost We'll never 